Hey everyone, Zanker's back, and we have some more Masters 25 spoilers coming at you. So, we'll start with the commons. Uh, first up, we have Renewed Faith. It's a white instant. Two colorless, one white. You gain six life. And then it has uh, cycling for one colorless, one white. When you cycle Renewed Faith, you may gain two life. Alright, so it's a two life gain. Draw a card or just straight up gain six life. Not bad. Looks like, what is that, uh, Odyssey? Watermark over there? Next up we have Cloud Shift. It's an instant, one white. You, get, you can exile target creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield under your control. Uh, that's, that's a nice for cards with uh, creatures with Enter the battlefield effects. Kind of like a flicker effect. Alright, let's keep going. Next up, Kindle. It's a red instant. One colorless, one red. Kindle deals X damage to target creature or player where X is 2 plus the number of cards named Kindle in all graveyards. So the first time you cast this, it's gonna deal 2 damage, then 3, 4, 5. It's good for uh, burn decks it's from Tempest, so there you go. Next up is Accumulated Knowledge. Uh, it's a blue instant, one colorless, one blue. You draw a card, <clears throat> then draw cards equal to the number of cards named Accumulated Knowledge in all graveyards. So just like the last one, it's, uh, it's one, then two, then three, then four. From Watermark is Nemesis. Next up is Totally Lost. It's a blue instant. Four colorless, one blue. Put target non-land permanent on the top of its owner's library. Uh, what is that? Uh, <laughs> that uh, Flibbeth had always hated crowds. <laughs> All right, that's cool little art there. I like that. Next up, we have Diabolic Edict. It's a black instant. One colorless, one black. Target player sacrifices a creature from Tempest. Look at that art. He's like splitting the guy in two. That's pretty cool. All right, not a bad... Uh, it's a good removal spell for... Uh, Draft. Next up, Ghost Ship from the Dark. I always like this card. Uh, two colors, two blue. It's a spirit, two four. It has flying, and it, you could regenerate it for three blue. All right. And last, un uh, last common is throwback, way back to Arabian Nights, Erg Raiders. This art is really cool. I like it. It's like, it's very, it's, uh, you know, the shadows of the, the creature, uh, the guys coming over the hill with the scimitars and stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's a black creature, human warrior. It's a 2 3 for 2. And at the beginning of your end step, if Erg Raiders didn't attack this turn, Erg Raider deals 2 damage to you unless it came under your control this turn. So it's got to attack every turn or else you're taking two damage. And the flavor text, their skills are extensive and their appetite for battle just as vast. Nice. All right, let's start with the uh, uncommons. We got Stenag. It looks like uh, Legends. Can't really tell. It's like two colors in the background. But uh, yeah, I think it's Legends. Four colorless, one red, one green. You get a uh, legendary creature, human warrior. It's a 3-4. When Stenag enters the battlefield, create a legendary 3-4 red and green human warrior creature token named Stenag Twin. Exile that token when Stenag leaves the battlefield and sacrifice Stenag when that token leaves the battlefield. Alright, so you get two 3-4s for six. Next up, Ancient Stirrings. This is a staple in uh, Tron decks. 
well, any Tron deck that has green, but from the most I've seen, it's mostly green and green X, whatever, Tron. So it's a sorcery for one green, and you look at the top five cards of your library, you may reveal a colorless card from among them and put it into your hand. Then put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. So this is good for searching for your Karns, your Ugins, or your uh, Tron pieces, because remember, lands are colorless. Next up is Simeon Spirit Guide. This is a staple in, I believe, Storm decks. So you have uh, an Ape Spirit for two colors, one red. It's a 2-2, two -two, but I think most, most of... Uh, how it's played is the ability Exile Simeon Spirit Guide from your hand. Add one red to your mana pool. Uh, the flavor, let's see what, the, what Jaya Ballard Taskmage says. It's rarely worth questioning where the mana comes from. Just be grateful. <laughs> That's uh, fitting for this card. So another staple, modern staple, very nice. And... Uh, Last uh, uncommon is Cloud Blazer from Kaladesh, a newer card. Three colorless, one white, one blue. It's a human scout. It's a 2-2 two -two and uh, has flying. When Cloud Blazer enters the battlefield, you gain two life and draw two cards. I mean, that's it. It's a high cost. It's uh, five, but uh, the end of the battlefield effect is pretty... It's pretty good. You could use that in like uh, in your draft with like that that flicker card that we had earlier. Uh, it is on color, so you could gain two life, draw two cards. Very cool. Next up, we go to the rares. First rare is what is that? Lorwyn to uh, Burian Staturam. It's a legendary creature, giant warrior. Two colorless, one red, one white. Has life link. Red and tap it, sacrifice another creature. Birium Storm deals damage equal to the sacrifice creature's power to target player. So you can't sacrifice himself. It has to be another creature. Uh, it's a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, not bad. Um, it's probably good in uh, some burn decks, some uh, red-white burn decks. Could see some play. I don't know. Next up. Another rare is Notion Thief. Notion Thief has Flash. It's a human rogue. It's a 3 1 for 4. Two colors, one blue, one red. One black, I'm sorry. And uh, if an opponent would draw a card except the first one he or she draws in each of his or her draw step, instead that player skips that draw and you draw a card. Okay. So any. Uh, if he has any at the beginning of your draw step, draw a card, you draw it instead. Not bad. All right, next up is Tristadectophobia. No, if anybody knows what that means, it is the fear of the number 13. So we'll see why they named it Tristadectophobia. So you got three... Colorless, one black. It's an enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, choose one. Each player with exactly 13 life loses the game. Then each player gains one life. And the, Or, each player with exactly 13 life loses the game. Then each player loses one life. It seems like a uh, pretty janky, narrow card. Probably for commander. Uh... Each player, okay, you gotta try and get somebody to exactly 13 to win the game with this card. <laughs> it's funny. Alright, next up, our last rare for today. Oh no, we have one more after this. Uh, Panarius Deed. It's a one colorless, one black, one green. It's an enchantment. Uh, X and sacrifice Panarius Deed. Destroy each Artifact, creature, and enchantment with converted mana costs X or less. Let's see the uh, uh, flavor. Yogmoth, Feralise, whispered as she set the bomb. Now you will pay for your treachery. I guess this is uh, Feralise in, uh, in the art right here. 
Um, yeah, it's from, what is that, Prophecy, I want to say? Or Apocalypse with the mask, I forget. Let me know in the comments if you if you remember which one that is. Uh, yeah, no, I think it's Apocalypse. Because the next one, I think, is Prophecy. Uh, Play Wind. I remember these uh, wind cards. They each had a color. Uh, seven colorless, two black. It's a sorcery. Destroy all creatures you don't control. They can't be regenerated. The second wind of ascension is Reaver, slaying the unworthy. Killed triumphant. All right. I remember, I remember these cards way back. It's pretty cool. All right. And last but not least, from Legions, Akroma, Angel of Wrath. This is a, it's a mythic. It's a five colorless, three white, legendary angel. It has flying, first strike, vig vigilance, trample, haste, protection from black and red. That is a bomb. If you have it in your, uh, in, uh, in draft or something, that's pretty cool. Six, six, flying, first strike, vigilance. It has basically everything. So that is the spoilers for today. Uh, Thursday. Oh no, today's Friday, March 2nd. And, uh, I believe later on today they're going to release the rest of the set. Uh, that's what I was reading. So uh, tomorrow I'll do a video with the rest of the set. And uh, then we could see where we're at when we see everything all together. Uh, so far, the value is okay. Um, there's some big hit cards, your, your jackpot cards, I guess, like the Jaces and, and uh, Port and Recruiter. Um, then there's like a lot of mid tier, but like very nostalgic cards, like, um, like the wind for me, I, it brings me back to, uh, when I, you know, first started playing and stuff like that. So let me know in the comments what you think and, uh, stay tuned for, uh, I guess the end video that's going to wrap it up, uh, spoiler season. So as always, remember to comment, like, and subscribe.